All right, welcome to this exciting tutorial series. Uh, my name is Chris Bailey, and I'm going to be taking you through a series of tutorials to try and create this, this image here. So the idea behind it is to create a really cool science fiction landscape uh, with nothing but procedurally generated objects and textures. So everything you see going on in this scene right now is being created with uh, procedural textures, um, procedural modifiers for the, the geometry itself. So everything's actually just made of cubes except for our floating sphere, which is made of a sphere, and uh, the, the flying debris, which I've added in After Effects later. And we'll do that as well. So what we'll do is we'll go through the whole process of creating the scene using nothing but cubes, using modifiers to distort those cubes to create our landscape, the rocky landscape, and then creating uh, materials that are being generated through the procedural systems in Blender. And then we'll, we'll go through the process of refining that, laying it out, doing our camera move, and then doing all of our render passes. And then we'll bring them into After Effects where we'll take all those passes, composite them together, and add in this cool uh, dust storm and a few other atmospheric effects like the clouds of smoke that you see moving in the background and things like that. So overall, you're gonna be able to make this entire scene on your own. Now it's gonna look different from what I've got here because of the procedural nature behind it. And I'm gonna be recreating the scene with you step by step. I'm also gonna be taking an approach with this series where it won't be strictly scripted. So I'm actually gonna try and allow for a bit of experimentation, allow for a few mistakes, basically to give you a glimpse at what my process really looks like when I'm creating something. Now I'll cut out the boring bits and I'll speed things up, but I wanna try and give you a sense of what it's like to come up with a concept and then develop it to execution so that you can do it yourself. I hope you find this series really, really helpful. I'm going to be trying to um, I'm going to try to release a new video every week. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel here at C Bailey Film to get notifications when the next one comes out. And uh, we're just going to take it one step at a time. I think in the end we're going to have about ten episodes to this series, and I'm going to try and keep each of them to about a half hour at length, so it's not too long, and you can digest the ideas and go away and try it on your own. So I really encourage you to, to take it, experiment with it, make your own scene, and really learn through this process. I hope that you're gonna get a lot of great skills. Now, this is kind of pitched at someone who has a basic understanding already of how to use the systems and tools in Blender, but I am gonna try and explain as much as I can uh, for those who may have never picked anything up. So if this is your first time using Blender or even doing 3D at all, don't be too intimidated. It may just take a couple of rewatches, but I'm gonna try and be as really, really as clear as possible and, and really explain things from the ground up. So yeah, if this excites you and you're interested, please follow along and I hope you really enjoy this series. Give me feedback, let me know in the comments what you think of it. And uh, if you'd like to see changes or like to see more tutorials like this in the future, um, I'm really excited about uh, beginning to do this on a regular basis and um, hopefully you will be too. So thanks so much and uh, I will see you in the first tutorial.